Hello and greetings. My name is Asif Kabarni and in today's presentation I will be talking about the e-commerce and the digital economy program. A year in the review, looking beyond the current crisis, boosting digital readiness in developing countries. This report has been produced by United Nations and one of its agencies called UNCTAD. I hope you will like the report. But before I go to the next slide, please note that the all copyright is reserved by the author publisher that is the United Nations in this case and the UNCTAD and all the other partners. So please respect the copyright and do not uh, transmit this report or this presentation electronically or mechanically or any means by photographing or any other via internet. Your cooperation in this regard is highly appreciated. This is a very interesting report uh, I have read today and firstly before you read the report kindly read the list of abbreviation and endurance it will really help you understand the report because there are a lot of lot of uh, words that we in the United Nations use uh, I'm a fellow so I can understand that these abbreviations but if you don't know the abbreviation acronyms, it's sometimes very hard or sometimes it's very really confusing that what they are saying in this report. So please try to have a look at it. Especially this is an advice for the next generation leaders so they can understand what they are doing. The UN makes wonderful reports. So you will always find these wonderful consultants who are working on this report, either their organization in Julia. They'll put a lot of nice figures, table boxes and maps. This really helps you understand the report. Uh, and how it works. This is not a very big report. It's a simple report about uh, 68 pages. And the executive summary is about in 11 pages. So you can read both of the documents that is available here. The report starts with the message from the director of the Division of Technology. It's very, very important that you read the message so you can understand what is the core concept of writing this report. Then we have my one good friend who is the head of the e-commerce and digital economy branch everyone is a good friend uh, in this world uh, but uh, you will like reading his message as well it's very inspiring so i hope it will take you to the next level to understand why this digital economy branch is important and how it works executive summary gives you a good picture as i said in 11 pages but it really gives you a very nice picture about what the report is all about the first part of the report you will learn about the multiple challenges in digitalization for the development and how strongly it affects the global agenda which is the united nations 17 sustainable development goals we call it right now is agenda 2020 and overall global agenda that is there for the development the second part of the report is most important it shares the main activities the accomplishment in the year 2022 it's also talk about the strengthening the policy environment for the e-commerce and digital economy. I recently spoke in other videos as well about how important it has been last 20, 20 years to develop the e-commerce and the digital economy around the world. This report also shares the findings and the gaps as well. So how we can fill the gaps with evidences. This also shares how we can cultivate national and regional capacities. This is very important. And then the other part also talks about in this report in chapter 2 is fostering cooperation in supporting the developing countries efforts. For example, building consensus is very important and also paving the way for the most effective multi-stakeholder partners. As you are all aware that I specialize in multi-stakeholder diplomacy with the UN and Diplomacy Foundation. So I strongly believe that this is a very important part and we should be focusing on this as well. Third is the goal and the objectives for the 2023 and beyond. Uh, this chapter is very good. So it gives you a perspective that how things are and how things should be. Uh, you can also read and share your own input because it's just a goal and objective. This point of time, you have to achieve it and beyond as well. So that's very important. The fourth chapter is mostly about the human resource, the financial information, the monitoring and evaluation system. They have an important to, for the this chapter is the lesson learned. They are very, very good. They have also done some risk analysis so that you can read through it. It's very good. It will give you a lot of information that how they are working. And finally, in chapter four, you will also learn about the core 
donor advisories and lot last but not least uh, there are some appendix annexures uh, we call it uh, where you can have access to the information about the program result framework program result indicators for 2023 and list of outstanding requests for assistance that they have received in february 2023 and a list of programs of key contacts as well so this will really definitely help you understand the whole report in context as i told you that there are various figures tables and maps that will help you so the most important figures that they have uh, given is very important to reach the digital delivery services in terms of the export you can look at this one at some because it says about the export values and current prices on page 24 then you also understand about the program team and the organization structure the program funding partners is very important you can see which program partners are helping them for example sweden uk us and all the ones so this will give you a good idea that how these programs are funded and how it works then there's an extra budgetary expenditure table share of population age 15 plus shopping online versus 2017 versus 2021 and there is an aid for trade resource for ict sector as well then there is a nice table which gives you an extra view of to give you transparency and expenditure about the program but there are a lot of important boxes they have developed in this for example the digital economy report that they used the plans of action connecting the dots to maximize the impact and successful et ready implementation ex experiences as well is very important in this report there are very nice maps where they have worked it's on page 10 and the other one is unc tade readiness e-commerce strategy action plan which is very good for those people who are doing researches or those people who are interested in developing programs and projects and we will love to help them assist them in mentoring them giving them training as well so they can become an education leaders and the third map focuses on the impact in pacific and kindly note they do a lot of events so some event has already been done in 2022 but i would like to share this e-week that is happening in Geneva on the 4th and the 8th of the december 2023 shaping the future of the digital economy please join this very important event and finally i like to take this opportunity to thank you if you think that you need any mentoring support consulting services or training support for yourself and your team on your subject if you're developing a program or a project or a research feel free to contact me via linkedin or my team please accept my sincere gratitude please feel free to subscribe to this channel click the notification and connect me and my team on the linkedin we wish you very best in reading this report and we hope that this will uh, help you understand the subject and please follow us because we will be publishing more books reports and other important matter that can affect you and the people around you so this would really be uh, something beneficial to you thank you very much